Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Delta Gaming here, back for another video, and today I'm going to be telling you guys about some of the most absolutely overpowered money-making methods in Hypixel Skyblock. Let's go. First money-making method, farming. I mean, like, this is a really, really simple one, but it is really, really profitable. If you're going for nether wood, though, which is, um... I'd say that nether wood and um nether wood and sugarcane are the two best ones. Hey, this is Delta from the future. I forgot to mention that if you are farming nether wood, I would definitely recommend going to 1.14 or above um or 1.12 or above whatever. Yeah. Just wanted to say because hitbox is bigger. And sugarcane are the two best ones. Um I was building a sugarcane farm, but what happened was backpacks got disabled, which meant I couldn't use builder's wand, and so I kind of haven't been able to. Um, I don't think builder's wand is available still yet, um, but I'd say go for another wood or sugarcane. Um, they're both pretty good, um, but. I find the nether wood farm easier to build first off because you don't need water and um, also the alchemy XP is pretty good too. Um, farming XP is just as good though so I guess it really comes down to how much time you're willing to invest in building the farm and then also how uh, what kind of um, XP that you actually want to get. Farming XP tends to be a little more useful but nether wood um, is a little bit more consistent um, than sugarcane so yeah um, but both of you um, both of you both of these can get you around five mil an hour if you're able to um, if you're able to consistently farm this um, also using a good uh, also using an actual useful farming tool um so newton's nether wart hoe is um the tool that you want to use for nether wart and then um and then there's another one for sugarcane i just can't remember what it is and if you don't know how to get it pretty much all you need to do uh it can be a pain to get these but what you need to do for the um for the different farming tools is you have to participate in Jacob's challenges yeah you need to participate in Jacob's challenges and then you need a golden medal um, apparently I participated in one but I don't know I don't think I did but pretty much um, all you need to do is whenever there's a farming challenge that you think you can get gold or silver in um, so like if you're beginning out the game, then I would recommend um, wheat because wheat is not that hard. Um, just grab a, um, just put a um, turbo wheat on a stone or iron or something, hoe, oh, and then just farm whenever the Jacob's challenge is, and then you'll probably get a silver or a bronze, and then you can. Um, collect your metals over here and then what you can do is if you get four um, if you don't think you can get gold in ev any then you can go to metal trades and then trade four um, you can trade four silver metal metals for a gold one and then you can get a mathematical hoe blueprint and then you can craft that mathematical hoe blueprint into um, nether wood or sugarcane hoe. Um, one thing is the best reforge you can get on it is blessed but blessed does require level 30 in mining so if you want maximum efficiency then you're going to want to mine for a really long time um, or if any of your friends have level 30 or someone that you trust has level 30 then you can buy buy a blessed fruit from um buy a blessed fruit from the auction house and then you can ask them to reforge it for you um 
but make sure that you can trust them because the um the blueprints are worth over a million coins so don't just trust anyone with it because you can easily get scammed so yeah second thing second op money making method i can't quite demonstrate because for this you can make a ton of money but you need quite a bit of money first and right now i only have less than a million coins which is sad um but basically um you need probably around 10 million coins which i know is a lot but basically you can it depends on what like it depends um sometimes but um what you go is to go to spooky area and then buy i don't remember you buy eight soul fragments which right now is n not going for a good deal like this is around the maximum it can actually go for but pretty much you buy eight of them and then you buy 16 ectoplasms and then you craft a soul whip and then you go over to the auction master and you sell that soul whip on the auction house <laughs> and pretty much soul whips usually go for around 18 mil and sometimes it can cost as low as 9 mil to craft the soul whip and so that would be essentially doubling your money um so yeah can sometimes be really op sometimes sometimes it would be right now like right now where it costs let me do the math so right now it costs around 22 million coins to craft which is obviously you'd be losing about 2 mil which is not great but sometimes the prices can go really low down and you can make pretty much double the amount of money that you invested um, this can also work with different types of things like um, certain weapons you can craft and sometimes uh, sometimes you can craft grand um, not grand titanic xp bottles and then resell them on here um, but yeah, um, it's kind of overpowered, which is obviously the theme of today's video, so, um, yeah, um, they're also pretty good to Bizarre Flip, but not as overpowered. This is one that I'm actually really familiar with, and I do all the time, but you've seen this already before, I'm sure, but in case you don't remember, basically you buy 16 Rejuvenate books on the auction house for less than um 25 to 30k um or less than basically once you have those 16 books you run over to the anvil craft them into rejuvenate 5 and then resell it for about 600k meaning you make around 300 200k profit and that might not sound a lot like a lot but you can do that within like three minutes making let's let's say like if you're making 300k every three minutes that that's 100k per minute which would mean that in uh in one hour you're making six mil so if you think about it that's really really good and all of you people who still grind zealots as your number one money making method uh yeah if you couldn't tell that's about um, five times more than you would get on average from zealots so yeah <laughs> kinda overpowered um you can do this with different types of books too but there aren't a lot of books that actually work it's just that rejuvenate is kinda just one of the books that for some reason it works the best um, and turbo books can be really good too, but they cost more, but that you can gain more from them as well as legion books. Those work too. And uh yeah, that's pretty much all I can think of. Do not try this with Chimera books. It is a horrible idea. This is another one of those where it takes a lot of money to get a lot of money. But basically right now Technoblade is the resistance leader, okay? And his perks include um, 100% uh, 
extra farming efficiency from farming minions. And if you don't know what that means, that means double the amount. Oh, um, you're getting double the amount of stuff from farming minions. And Melon is a farming minion, and it's the most money-making um, minion um, for farming in the game. And pretty much, uh, just grab a super compactor. Um, I only got it to tier eight because I'm I, I was a little bit too poor. But basically, if you get it to tier eleven, and you use every single one of your um, farming slots, I'm um, not farming slots, minion slots, um, on melon minions that are tier eleven and have the enchanted lava buckets, um, then you can get a little over um, 70 mil in one week, just from minions. Yeah, that's that's a lot of money. And plus, if you can do maths, then you know that that would mean that you're making 10 mil every single day, which is kind of insane. Um, so, I mean, yeah, if you're willing to invest the money for the farming minion stuff, then just get a ton of tier 11 uh, melon minions, and you're making over 10 mil every single day, which, yeah, that's kind of insane, but I'm too poor to do that. And last, and kind of least... Um, we actually have one that kind of might sound kind of dumb, but it's actually really, really surprisingly true. So, my last method that I want to tell you is pretty much if a YouTuber at all, any YouTuber that has YouTube rank probably, if they mention a money-making method or an item for a money-making method, like, uh, or if they even just say that a certain item is really good, then that item is probably going to skyrocket in price for at least the next, like, three hours um, after that video gets up. How did... What? How did you get out? Um, that's odd definitely odd um but pretty much like for example when 30 virus when he made the claim that magma bows were better than runan's bows um a few months ago the the price for uh for magma bows went up from about 200k to around 800k <laughs> so that that was just for a few hours, but pretty much what I'm trying to say is if a big YouTuber mentions any item, um, like he says it's good or says that it's good for a money-making method or something similar, then buy it as soon as the video gets out. As soon as you see a video about money-making method or anything, just skip around and see the different money-making methods and see if he says any items or she says any items or something. And then pretty much what you need to do is just buy that item or craft it immediately as fast as you possibly can. And then you sell it on the auction house for its inflated price and yeah, you can make absolutely tons of money just by doing that. It's hilariously, uh, it's hilarious and it's true. Um, of course, this doesn't happen often because a lot of YouTubers don't post any money making method videos that often. But when they do, just keep that in mind because you can make millions just, yeah, that way. Um,. And then you can also do this on a larger scale, too, of course. But it can be kind of overpowered. Just like every other money-making method in this video. And I hope you all had a great time watching. This has been Delta Gaming. And I'm out. See ya.